Hi everyone, here I am in Manchester. Just on my way somewhere doing what I do. Took the day off work, which is okay. I've been saving up money. I can, I can, I can avoid. I can take off the occasional day at work here and there. Not too much. I went to the matchroom weigh-in on Saturday. I met Eddie Hearn. I chose not to interview him. I didn't go to the press conference because I had work. I don't want to take off too many days off work because I can take as many as I like but then obviously the money adds up but I mean you make what, eight seventy pounds a day that kitchen doesn't like pub, they don't really pay as much so £70 a day, two days is 140 so it adds up you know, so yeah, ultimately things are going extremely well you know, uh, things are on track but yeah, in Manchester today, and I was thinking about the the ongoing, the disgusting Jack Cattle robbery. And I have a question, why don't these fighters just boycott some of these referees and judges? And there's two corrupt individuals I wish to publicly accuse. Ian John Lewison, and what's the other one's name? Howard Foster. Why not just say we refuse to work with them? Someone, someone needs to lead these boxers in a rebellion, a revolution. And then what you say, if Howard Foster's on the show, none of us are gonna box. That's what you lot need to do. That's what you lot need to do. Because that's the only way you're gonna make change. But right now, you lot are getting robbed left, right, and center. And Jack Cattle has lost, on, lost out on how much money I mean, I'm not a gangster, but if I was a gangster, I haven't got any money, that's the problem. But if I had that kind of money and you robbed me, uh, you know, I'm coming after you. I'm, I'm going around Howard Foster's house and you can call the police if you want, I don't care. But I lose all that money, I'll just punch you up, I've got nothing to lose. I wouldn't even try to hide it. So it's okay for them to rob you lot in public, but I'm not allowed to punch you. Well, as I say, if that was me. I mean, I got robbed last year at white collar level, but obviously that's white collar. Not a big deal. I mean, they, it cost me the opportunity to make thousands of pounds that night, but it's okay. I don't think I was going to win the tournament anyway. I wasn't fit. I definitely won that fight. But if I, if I got in the ring with Alfie Connolly, Alfie would have beaten me last year. I wasn't fit enough. But if you're talking about pro level, where I've put my life on hold for months on end, and you're going to rob me of all that money, no, I'm coming around someone's house. Uh, you know... I mean, if you think I'm lying, if I'm going to jump up in the ring with Kel Brook, why would I be scared to go around Ian John Lewis's house or Howard Foster's house? But you think you could rob me and I'm not going to do something about it? But I'm just talking, I'm not trying to sound tough, I'm stating facts. Obviously, I wouldn't go around Mike Tyson's house. If Mike Tyson robbed me, I'd, I'd, just, I'd just have to get on with my life. If Mike Tyson stole my iPhone and said, what are you going to do about it? I'd, I'd say nothing, nothing. You can keep it, Mike. Keep it. <laughs> it's Mike Tyson, you know. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go around his house. You know, I, I value my life too much. But if you're talking about how or force, I'll come around your house. I don't care. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm, I'm breaking the door down. You can call the police if you want. I don't care. Some of these boxes, man. Some of these stuff punch these guys in the robbing fires all the time. And I'm, I'm genuinely saying this. I'm not saying this out of emotion, but. There needs to be some sort of action against Ian John Lewis and the Howard Foster. And as I said, the most obvious choice is just boycott them. You know, a person has to Howard that you just say you don't want to work with them. And if they put them on the show, if you get all the boxers unite and all the boxers jump off the show, we're not boxing, then that's it. You're going to force the British Boxing Board of Control to act. But I'm going to let me talk to people in boxing, let me tell them this and see how they react. But these boxes you're getting mugged off you're getting robbed if it was me I, w I wouldn't get on a show with those two idiots because they've got a consistent history of being corrupt you know they've been caught they've been caught how many times they're corrupt they're corrupt trying to get the early pension checks trying to trying to retire retire in the Bahamas it's getting ridiculous I mean but these fighters you need you need to stand up for yourselves and the only person that can lead the revolution against these corrupt officials is me so let's see how it goes take care thanks for watching